Hello, hello, welcome back to Marvel Spider-Man. Picking up more or less where we left off uh, at the end of the last episode. So, let's see what we got going on. Raft MVPs are back on the grid, laying siege to our police precincts. My men need your help, now. Get to a vantage point in Midtown and I'll explain. On my way, is it Octavius? No, two of his flunkies, still searching for the doctor. I have to be honest, that one scares me. Might be the smartest supervillain I've ever encountered. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Hold tight, Captain. All right. We need to get over here and help uh, the police department while also watching out for the sable agents <laughs> and random criminals, too. So. Now reports are coming in that Martin Lee, along with exhibiting freakish abilities like those of you-know-who, has lately seemed to display almost a split personality. <laughs> this is hogwash, and a clear attempt to evade justice for his crimes. Only a fool would believe that he's Mr. Positive one moment, helping the poor with a smile, then suddenly he's Mr. Negative, blowing up way a minute. Mr. Negative. That's gold, Jared. Gold. Trademark it. Stack. <laughs> as I was saying, folks, Martin Lee's evil side, or as everyone is now calling him, Mr. Negative, has been revealed as the culprit for the City Hall bombing. Ow. Stupid fucking rocket launcher. Okay, Captain, got eyes on. Fill me in. Rhino's assaulting the Upper West Precinct. Electro's at the Upper East. We need you to turn the tide. Head to either. They're both equally screwed. All units, 1043. Officers are under fire. Uh, this... uh... let's see. Set east with Electro and... Right, I was at the West Precinct, so... No officers needed in Times Square. Over. Let's go try and take care of Rhino. He should be easy, I think. Jeez. Well, that was not what I intended to do. We need help at Feast Sister's side of town. The Veteran Center in Harlem? What's wrong? Men from Rikers are demanding food and supplies. The staff are barricaded inside, but they need help. Miles and I are headed there to evacuate the staff. Don't do anything until I get there, May. I'll meet you in Harlem. This sounds exhausted. I hope she isn't sick. You need to help Yuri, then get to Harlem. There. I'm seeing an ominous red glow on the horizon. That would be Rhino's handiwork. Hurry, mm. the building won't survive much more structural damage. on the move, but former guests of Rikers are laying into your police barricades. I'm gonna even the odds. Do it. If those barricades fall, the people inside are done for. I 
never seen Rhino walk away from a fight like this. He must be working on orders from Dr. Octavius, making quick hit and runs on the city's emergency response teams. Jetpacks. Guys, we're on the same team. At least wait to attack me till after we take out the convicts. Mom lawbreakers will be pacified. Pacified? Anyone else feeling very 1984 right now? Oh, just me? Come on, anybody? Commanders. Now to mop up the rest of the Rikers escapees. Yuri, precinct is secure. And I just found out what it means to be Sable's priority target. Not fun. That'll teach you to piss off international mercenaries. Guess so. I'm headed across the park to deal with Electro. I'll call you when I'm there. Great. I'll let my men know to expect you. Miles left a voicemail. Pete! Hey, Pete! Hey, May wanted me to call you. Things at the Veteran Center are not good. Convicts are trying to break down the doors. Mary Jane's here, but we're getting people out of the basement. We need more help. I hope you can get here soon. I need to finish with the precincts fast and get to Harlem. F-13. Officers are under fire from snipers. Report came in near Gracie Mansion. Over. This isn't good. Transformers are charging the building, trapping the police inside. Yuri, complicated was an understatement. I'm gonna have to disable these Transformers to free your men. Even if you manage that, they'll still need your help with the demons. That's why I'm here, ready to serve all your electricity and demon-related needs. Four more of these... I did 
not miss dealing with Electra's elaborate supervillain antics while he was in the raft. Trapping the police with a network of energy transformers? Who does that? <laughs> Police are free, but demons aren't backing down. Need to lend a hand. Okay, Yuri. Both precincts are secure. I need to sign off for a bit. Call me if things go south. Will do. And thanks. You've given us a fighting chance. Okay. Need to hustle to Feast's sister site in Harlem and help May. Run away. Thank God. We need you at the Veterans Center. Where are you? I got held up. Are you okay? What's happening? The convict started a fire. We got the building staff out, but May and Miles are trapped inside. I'm trying to find a way into them, but the Stay where you are, MJ. I'll handle this. Damn it. Move it, Pete. Move! Maybe I should have taken out half these uh, gangs and shit when I had a chance earlier between episodes, but... Uh, I, don't know, I guess it kind of adds to the whole thing with... Uh, Spidey constantly being shot at, I guess. Peter, fire and rescue's on the way. I found a fire escape that'll get me- MJ, stay back. I don't want to have to rescue you too. Peter, don't be crazy. Wait for help. May! May! I got you. Hang on! Oh. Hey, man, you all right? Get to the window! <coughs> it's too far. Uh, hold on! Just brace yourselves! <coughs> Come on, you stupid piece of...
May okay? Everyone is safe. MJ, if it weren't for you and Miles, I would have been... As dead as I would have been the last eight and a half thousand times you saved me. Pretty sure I still owe you a few. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry I screwed things up. It's just hard being the one who always gets saved, you know? Well, Sometimes I want to do the saving. I'm sorry I made you feel like... That's nice, but you don't have superpowers, MJ, and if you didn't Always. willingly run into problems, you wouldn't need uh, saving so all the time. You wanted sparkling or, or flat or spring or mountain spring, so I got one of each. Whatever's fine. <laughs> Am I interrupting? No. Um... MJ, Ms. Watson, and I were just talking strategy. Strategy? That's right. The city is in danger. It needs our help. All of our help. All right, well, call the play, coach. Okay. Divide and conquer. Ms. Watson, we need an anti-serum for Devil's Breath. Oscorp's developing something, but there's no way they can keep it safe from Octavius and Lee. We need to find the cure, and protect it. I'll chase down some leads. Miles, you need to be my eyes and ears at feast. Anything goes wrong, call me. We need to keep that place and the people there safe. All right, you got it. What are you gonna do? Gang of costume nut jobs is taking the city apart piece by piece. Time I return the favor. All right. All right. Hey, wait, um, how do I call you? I mean, do you have like a cell phone in your in your po pockets or something? Ms. Watson can give you my number. Good luck, team. You have his number. Are you Spider-Man's girlfriend? That'd be so cool. If... <sighs> Come on, Sherlock. Show me what you got in this water smorgasbord. The city feels a little more under control. Miles is watching Feast. MJ is tracking a Devil's Breath cure. Time for me to focus on finding Otto, and stopping whatever he has planned. Yuri, we need to start tracking the big boys. Still no leads on Octavius? No, nothing. Forensics can't even do a sweep of Times Square. Everyone in that department but the intern is sick. I might be able to turn something up. Let you know what I find. have come home to roost. Of course, by chickens, I mean the lunatics who've escaped from Rector's Island. The home they're coming to is thanks to Spider-Man attracting these psychos to our city like moths to a point. We had them all stashed right off the coast of Manhattan. If only someone had pointed out what a bad idea that is. Wait! I did. So listen to me now. Lock your door. Arm yourselves with whatever you get your hands on. It is now every man, woman, and child for themselves. And with reports that the devil's breath. Thanks, JJ. Spider Man, here to lend a hand? Thought you might need one, officer. You don't know the half of it. Never seen anything like this devil's breath stuff. Forensics is having a hell of a time. News reports say this is where Otto released Devil's Breath. Might have left some residue I can track. All right. Hmm. Some residue on this sign. Maybe I can isolate it. AT Rich Leader Sequence. This looks promising.
Oh, that was not easy enough. Oscorp's modified CPF-1. Definitely Devil's Breath. Should be able to track the dispersal path now. Trail goes in a few directions. Need to find the right one. No. Vapor trail heads up that building. There we go. Jumps between these buildings. Trail leads down into those vents. What was Otto doing up here? There should be a door or an access hatch around here. Well, this is moody. Be some way to hit the lights. Ah. Let there be light. Whoa. Was Otto using this as a staging ground? Mm. The chaos of the prison break would have been perfect cover to move in. Martin Lee. Can't believe this is the same man I knew at Feast. Hmm. Looks like Otto recorded messages for his crew. Oh, Martin. When I first realized it was you targeting Osborne these past weeks, I was shocked and saddened. But then, as the situation evolved before my eyes, I felt... Inspired. You took the bold steps I had always dreamed of, Martin, and you took them without hesitation. I am honored now to join you on this path towards true justice. Hmm. True justice, yes. Alright, let's see. Anything else? Seems like Otto and Lee have more of a history than I thought. How long have they known each other? Eh, quite a while, I believe. Let's see. Dr. Octavius, thank you for the medication. It helps some, but the episodes continue to grow stronger. Things haven't been this bad since I was a child. I feel like I've, I'm barely in control. Yesterday, during Osborne's dress, it came close to blacking out, seeing him trigger his feelings I had thought long buried. I'm not sure how much longer I can live in, in his shadow like this, Martin. Hmm. Alright, let's say rotate. Eh, nothing on it. Okay. Hmm. Otto's rage is driving him. The neural interface is exacerbating it, but his hate is genuine. He'll destroy the whole city to hurt Norman. Hmm. Good old Rhino, my second favorite Russian. followed your career with great interest. The world sees you as a witless dullard. I see a warrior with a poet's heart. I know you desire freedom from the battle suit you're sealed inside. Help me achieve my goals, and freedom shall be yours. developed a corrosive to free Rhino from his suit. A certain government agency spent years trying and failing to do that. Only took Otto a few days. Damn. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> I 
I don't suppose there's any of this corrosive around that we can use to strip him of it for good, though, is there? Yeah, that'd make things a little too easy, I guess. Mac Gargan, aka Scorpion, aka Crazy Pants McCrazy. It's rare for me to admit this, Mr. Gargan. Clearing your debts was more difficult than I anticipated. You're in arrears to some demanding individuals. But once the reservoir job is finished, your financial obligations will be finished as well. Otto Octavius is nothing if not persuasive. Hmm. Otto Octavius or Dr. Octopus? Mmm. I mean, I know, technically, same, but whatever. Who, who are people more scared of? The science dude or the b dude with the weird Old fucking tentacles? I've tangled with him more than anyone else here. Adrian. What bitter irony that your miraculous wings should have brought such horrors on your body. Thankfully, you are now working for me. When our work is settled, the treatment I've developed will cure you. You won't shuffle off this mortal coil just yet, my friend. Power source for Vulture's wings gave him spinal cancer. And Otto's developing an experimental treatment to save him. Hmm. Electro. Total live wire, that one. Electro's big pipe dream is to become pure energy. Doc actually managed to modify his harness to get a little closer to that goal. I want to say certain versions of Electro are basically just pure energy walking around, but I might be wrong. Max, when you first conveyed your dream to me, I thought you insane. Pure energy. <laughs> But as I dove deeper into the problem, I discovered a way to give us both what we desire. I promise you, when we are done, you will be pure energy. Or so close to it as to make the difference irrelevant. Hmm. Well, that can't be good. What's this now? Otto must have used this map to plan, but it's blank. Unless there's something here I'm missing. Mm. Yeah, UV black light. light. Huh, nothing happened. That's because the lights are still on. Lamp on. Hmm. for the cameras, collects his accolades, and keeps his boot he pressed against my neck. Why can't anyone else see how selfish he is? How reckless? How evil? If only they could be made to see the Norman I know. The man behind the mask. Hmm. Well, this version of Norman Osborne hasn't turned into the Green Goblin yet, like so... He's been studying Sable's tech for weaknesses. Hmm. Nothing useful we can pick up, apparently. So... Oscorp has snaked itself throughout the city. Power, communication, public safety. Norman made his company essential, but also fragile. If a disaster were to occur, and a few small pressure points were tweaked, 
it would all fall apart. The public would see Norman for what he is, a leech on their lives. Yes, just a few simple steps, and he would be ruined forever. How many men would I need? Well, let's see. First, some kind of disaster. A hurricane, an earthquake, or a plague. Next, assaults on Oscorp's power grid and emergency relief send the city into chaos. Let the people see the truth about Norman. Yes, just a handful of men. No more than a half dozen. A sinister six. Hey. <laughs> Hooray, comic book references. Martin has been arrested. Norman looks pleased. Believes he's safe. He has no idea. He's just put all the rotten eggs a man might need into a single basket. With Martin in raft, alongside Scorpion, Rhino, Vulture, and Electro, a single swift kick is all it would take to send those eggs tumbling down the hill. Straight at Oscorp and Norman. Yes, just one small kick. I think it's time for me to lace up my boots and climb the hill. Mm. This is my final recording. Peter, if you're listening to this, please know that I did what I thought was just. It may have been extreme, but when it comes to Norman, half measures will never do. Of all that I risk by taking this next step, the loss of our friendship will pay me the most. I hope that if we meet again, it will not be on opposite sides. Hmm. Oh. There we go. Okay, that was just because I was in proximity to Scorpion's little workstation. Hidden markings. Otto's tasked the villains to destroy Oscorp holdings throughout the city. He's trying to take apart Norman's empire piece by piece. Lee's going after the Devil's Breath anti-serum, using something called Icarus? Hmm. What's Vulture doing in Times Square? I need to keep my guard up. Electro's disabling Oscorp power plants. Makes sense. Seems like the last stage of the plan is a direct assault on Oscorp. And most likely, Norman. Rhino's targeting Oscorp's shoreline properties. Which is he hitting first? And why? Scorpion must be trying to poison the city's reservoir. Another Oscorp-owned property. Yeah. Well, we got what we need. Ow. Icarus, this is it. Uh. Hello, Spider Man. We've never been properly introduced. I'm o Otto Octavius. There is no Icarus, is there? No. Martin needs no assistance to secure the anti serum. Icarus was a ruse to get you into position. Into position? Huh? For a man like Octavius. Backup plans for his backup plans. Hey, no. Pete, are you okay? What's happening? <laughs> Traffic's rough. Listen, Lee's gunning for the anti serum. We need to find Oscorp's Devil's Breath Lab before he dies. On it right now. Well, like every building permit in the city. If there's a record of the lab, I'll find it. That's great. Okay. Uh, uh, talk soon, MJ! Ow. <laughs> uh, 
trap failed? Softened him up. Time for plan B. Bane or something. How many times am I going to have to teach you this lesson, old man? Seriously. <laughs> What's happening? Electro's been grounded. Spider-Man, I presume. If you really cared about this city, you'd be helping me expose Osborne for the criminal he is. By killing innocent people? I would have restored the power. 
You're sick. You need help. I have all the help I need. And we will not stop until Norman gets what he deserves. Yeah, well, there's two down. I hate it when they team up. I just need to catch my breath. Eight hours later. As soon as this loading screen stops. What? Uh, oh man. <laughs> Need to update Yuri. Who are you? Yuri. Vulture and Electro are down. Four to go. I saw. Also noticed a rooftop in Times Square exploded. Wouldn't happen to be related, would it? Nothing gets by you. It was Octavius' staging ground. He's using the villains to pull apart Oscorp. Vulture and Electro were targeting power plants. Scorpion's going after water treatment. Not sure about Rhino yet. Something along the shoreline. That's good enough to start. I assume you're going after Scorpion? Yeah. City's already on the brink. If we lose clean water, we might never come back. I'll update you when I make progress. Sounds like a plan. Hmm. All right. And let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, that took way longer than I thought. So we'll call this episode here. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the usual blah, blah YouTube wants us to do. And we'll pick up next time for more Marvel Spider-Man. Till then, hope you have a good day. Stay safe, and we'll see you then. Later.